Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to enable the 2FA on Spotify in 2024. So today we're delving into the realm of account security as we explore how to enable the two-factor authentication for your Spotify account. By adding an extra layer of protection, you can safeguard your favorite playlists, personalized recommendations, and account details from in any unauthorized access. So join me through this video and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll need to go and access your account settings. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section and type spotify.com and hit the enter so.com and hit the enter button this should take you into the home screen or main screen of spotify right away so if you have an account just simply go and click on login to login into your account and you can log in of course using google facebook apple if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account as an example if you click on sign up as you can see you'll find the same options if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of that so for me i'll just go and log into my account click on login and wait did i change the password i don't know i let's just, just go and create a new account as example so let's just go and click on sign up i'll just sign up with google so it's going to be easy i'll just click on my account in here of course as you can see by continuing google will share your name email address language preferences profile picture with spotify to see if you want to see the privacy policy in terms of servers and of course you can manage your google accounts from google accounts so if you want to see that and read it be my guest if you aren't set for me i'll just go and click on continue and here as you can see you will have to give yourself a name and date of birth i'll just type 22 day two and month two gender man of course and here i'll just go and click on next so terms and conditions i'd like i would prefer not to receive marketing messages from spotify and if you want to share my registration data with spotify uh, content providers for market purposes make sure to do it i'm just going to check this option because i would not receive to uh i wouldn't, I wouldn't like to receive like a lot of emails like about uh, songs and etc i don't care even about music i don't listen to it so i'll just go and click on sign up i mainly use spotify for podcasts and i suggest you to do so which is going to be just important to you so once you log in your account of course you'll find yourself at the top right corner uh, profile picture so just go and click on that then go and click on profile an example here you'll find your profile you'll be able to find a lot of stuff about it for me we don't care about profile so just go and click on again and click on account of course here you'll, you'll be able it seems like this is in french but so if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, as you can see, you can click in here to change language. We want English. So I'll just go to like, I don't know. Let's just click on whatever English. So maybe like South Africa. Let's just go and click on it. That's what we want. So here, as you can see, you'll be able to edit this profile, manage apps. And as you can see, again, that's not what we want. We want to access the security settings. So if we click here again into our like uh, account oh we can access settings so okay that's cool just go and click on settings and let's say if we can uh, find like security settings because that's what we're looking for we're looking for security settings security settings so as you can see here language we have like english display and yeah it seems company community useful links nothing that we want in here so it's probably gonna be like an account that we just opened so let's see okay it's still like the rights language so as you can see in here let me just go through accounts manage your plan that's what we want it is profile as you can see not what we want recover playlist not what we want of course we go here man this is just for example if you want to join premium not what we care about and of course payments not what we want here security and privacy this is basically like what we want so of course you can sign out everywhere you can find or see private settings notification settings you'll be able to access a lot of things but what we care about is the 2fa or two-factor authentication of course basically uh, what is the 2fa is just another like option where you can like get a code and enter that code while you're trying to log into your account of course to add like an account or add something like an email as a two-factor authentication or something like that i guess it should be in the added login methods yeah it will be here so here's an example as you can see 
you can add some stuff like uh, or to enable it by adding some stuff like for, for me it's already like enabled why when you create an account with google it's already enabled but if you create your account with the email and password you'll need to enable it using something like google facebook apple for me i'll just uh, it's enabled with google but we can add other things like as an example facebook so if i just go here and click on add as you can see because for me i'm already logged into my facebook account they will not ask me to do anything but for you if you're not logged in into your account they will ask you to log into your facebook account then of course you can uh, give it access to as you can see it's request access to my name profile picture so i'll just go and click on continue and with that name and simply uh something is went wrong okay maybe problem let's just go and try again if it did not work maybe you can try again like later so it seems like it's not possible at the moment. So let me just try as an example with Apple, even if I don't have an Apple. As you can see here, you'll have to enter your Apple ID and etc. So I don't have it. I just try to see maybe there's a problem they have at the moment. It's fine. So now let me just go back. Let me just even close that so we can go back like to accounts. And here in yeah. So, of course, you can even set like some device password. As an example, if you want to use this as a two factor authentication for you, you'll be able to do so. And yeah, of course, on this notification setting, you'll be just able to edit the notifications and manage apps just to manage some apps if you approve any uh, privacy settings. As you can see, to request your data if you want to. So, down and download it as you can see. Extended like stream uh, streaming history, you can select that, and you can even uh, if you have some technical logo information, you can select that to request it to download it if you want to. And yeah, like I guess that's it. So, to enable it, you'll have to go to edit login methods, add uh, like an option where you want to. Uh, add this uh, or to enable this to fa as i said if you'll create your account with google it's already enabled if not make sure to add it and you will be good to go so there you have it of course you successfully enabled the two-factor authentication 2fa for your spotify account in 2024 with 2fa activated your account is now better protected against any unauthorized access ensuring your podcasts library remains safe and secure so remember to uh, keep your authenticated method secure and consider enabling like 2FA for any other accounts for added security. So happy listening and may your playlist continue to bring you like informations and grow. And of course, if you have any questions or there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section. I'll try to do this as soon as possible. So thank you for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more help for tutorials like this one. Thank you for watching again and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.